Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all doing really, really well. Enjoy the weekend. It's very sunny, but it's cold, brisk. It's nice to be outside. Video for today, I wanna to talk about App Academy. It's a coding bootcamp and I'm gonna endorse it. So before we get into this video, I just wanna say I'm not being paid to do this video. It's not sponsored, but based on my personal experience, of uh, this bootcamp versus other ones, I think it's actually the best one and I'm gonna personally endorse it. So a few topics we're gonna hang out and talk about in this video. It's why you should go to a bootcamp, should you go? There are two different things, why versus should. And finally, just talk about some details about their curriculum, their program, and why I think personally it's a good one for some people. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is that App Academy is actually gonna raffle off two, two access passes to some of their online bootcamp prep material. Usually they sell this for over $1,000, so it's pretty expensive, but I took a look through it and it's actually pretty thorough for the beginners. It guides you through a lot of really important concepts and it's quite long and it's really expensive, but you have a chance to just get this for free and it takes like three to five seconds to just put your email in the little box and hit enter and why not? All right, so we're ready to get into the meat of the video. Again, I broke it up into three three different parts. I always do it in three because it's short, easy to remember. The first one is going to be why anybody should go to a boot camp. Second one is should anybody go to a boot camp. And finally, I'm going to talk about my personal opinions about why I think App Academy is a good option if you choose to go to one of these coding boot camps. So again, everything I talk about in this video is my personal opinion. I feel a little wary when I talk about this kind of stuff because it affects people's lives, careers, and it's a delicate subject sometimes and I'm not a career counselor professional. So just take my opinions, just take them, digest them and make your own decisions, all right? All right, let's get the easiest one out of the way first, the why. Why would anybody go to a coding bootcamp? But let's just be perfectly honest, let's not sugarcoat it. It's just the fastest, most convenient way to get a high paying developer job. That's it, right? That's why everybody goes to these things. The fastest way to potentially make six figures or some nice number and there's some other reasons that are worth mentioning I've heard of people going to boot camp some business people who just want to prototype their idea or also maybe some product managers who just want to step into the shoes of a developer and those are side reasons maybe that's like two three percent of the applicants but the vast vast majority of the why is just to get a high paying job as fast as possible so that's the easiest one to get out of the way first one final thing I want to tell everybody about this why is that you're probably going to be advertised all the success stories. Like one of my friends went from, or one of my friend's friend went from nothing to bootcamp to Uber developer. And that's probably the perfect scenario. That's everyone's dream, right? Just do something for six months and get into the hottest tech company in the world or whatever. But you all, you're always going to hear about the success stories and there's going to be equal, if not more, amount of failure stories. So remember, don't compare yourself to those one-off success stories. It's not good to compare yourself to other people's situation. You can't compare yourself to Bill Gates, but you can just look at him for motivation. So look at those success stories as a little bit of, you know, inspiration, motivation, potential, but don't compare yourself to that if it doesn't happen to you. All right, so that's always the caveat with these inspirational wise. Next thing we should talk about is the should. So this is my opinion on should you, should you go to one of these boot camps? And this is very different than the why, because the why is easy, just make money fast as possible. But should, should is a little more nuanced and detailed and we can break it down a little bit. So for anyone that hasn't seen some of my previous videos or knows my history, but I'm very classically trained. I went to Carnegie Mellon, did four four and a half years, got my bachelor's, master's there, and then went off to do the career thing. But that's the very classical approach. That's what everyone is used to. That's what everyone did to get into engineering and development before all these boot camps came around. And I still, I still endorse the classical approach because I'm biased, I came from that, but I still endorse that approach if it's the right situation. So what is the situation? But I think the situation is very, personal and I want to speak for anyone but I think it highly highly depends on the level of responsibilities you have in your life so for the classical approach if you can afford to just spend four or five years of your life being a full-time student this is usually people who are young have few responsibilities and if you want to do software in the long long term 
I would suggest the classical approach. Again, I'm biased, but you have to very really consider your life. I can't, I'll just make up another situation for you. So if you have some dependents, maybe you have a child and you have crazy medical bills that you can't really pay off well with their current job and you're considering moving into software to get a little bit more salary. So you have a lot of responsibilities, you have some financial pressure, you can't just put your life on a four-year hold to be you know, a computer science student somewhere. Then I think a bootcamp is a viable option because it allows you to have a cheaper, a cheaper alternative to get access to potentially a higher paying job quicker. And for those of you that have a lot of responsibilities, you can't just stop your life for four years. It could be a viable option. So again, this should the should you go to a boot camp is a very personal decision and any video that you watch that tells you should you go or should you not go, it has to be personal for you. So I think classical, again, I'll just reiterate, but classical is really for young people who have a green slate. They don't have a lot of debt, no financial pressures. They don't have kids or something. They don't have a crazy medical situation. But if you have a very low responsibility, low responsibility level, I would suggest classical approach. And if you're lucky enough, just take advantage of that if you can. If your life has a ton of stuff going on and you know I can't say what's going on in your life, but if that's the case, you might consider a faster potential approach to becoming a developer, if that's what you wanna do. All right, last part of the video, but finally we're gonna talk about some of the details behind App Academy and why I'm endorsing it and why I think it's a better option than a lot of other boot camps. So, First, first and foremost, that I've had personal experience with a handful of boot camps through recruiting, hiring, all these things, and I can still say that App Academy has produced the best candidates that I have seen, at least in New York City. So at my previous job, I was lucky enough to interview a lot of App Academy candidates, and we also hired somebody. She had a math background, and she came in and killed it. She did a really good job, strong developer, and came came really from almost no coding experience to being highly, highly productive in a professional setting. So just from my personal experience, I interviewed a lot of people from General Assembly, from Flatiron and other boot camps in this area. And the people that came out of App Academy, the best, all right? So from a hiring perspective, I still stand by that. The last thing I wanna mention is that App Academy is very expensive. All these boot camps are very expensive, but the, w the reason why I think App Academy is a little better is because their most popular payment plan is this deferred, deferred payment plan. I'll send a link in the description, but pretty much what it means is that you owe them nothing if you don't get a job. But once you do get a job, you owe them $28,000 US dollars. So it's a lot of money, but like you got to give somebody $28,000. That's like over a semester. That's, that's a lot of money. but they are incentivized to get you that job because if you don't get that job, they also don't get paid. So I think that's their most popular plan. They have another one which is upfront cash. You could pay them 17, less than 28, you could pay them $17,000 cash upfront and then you owe them nothing later. So they got a lot of good pricing options. It's not cheap. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's not gonna be cheap, but I think the, re the reason why it's nice is that it incentivizes them heavily to get you the job. One other thing I want to note is that I have uh, I have an acquaintance, not really my friend, but he just started this uh, boot camp. I forgot the name of the boot camp somewhere in San Francisco. The one thing that he complains about is that he doesn't think the people that started that boot camp really have a strong network to potential employers and companies after they're done. Because the whole point is that if you join a boot camp, you also has, you also have access to a potential network of different employers to work at later, right? And he said for them, they really can't attract any employers, which really sucks. One thing that I think App Academy does really well is that they actually provide you, provide you a foot in the door automatically with a lot of really, really good employers. They have demo days, they have, you know, showcases when you're done with your projects, a lot of employers come and you can like sit with them and check out what they've worked on. I think at the end, at the end of their cohorts, that's what they call, call their graduating classes, but at the end of the graduations, they have a really big demo day. I went to go check it out. There was other hiring people there from big companies like uh, Google and Facebook, but they went in, checked out all the students' projects, people handed out resumes, and it was a really, really nice way to find candidates. So I think the network 
is really, really strong for App Academy because I have friends in San Francisco and they complain about it. He literally said out there is that the people that started this bootcamp can't get me a job. So it's a deal breaker, right? All right, let's wrap up the video. It's getting really long. My voice is getting tired. You're probably tired of hearing me talk, but again, wrap up the video. Why? The why is really easy. It's the fastest way to potentially make more money. Easy, right? Should, should is very personal. Just take inventory of your responsibilities and make your own personal decision about should. But you already he heard my thoughts. And finally, if you're gonna choose a bootcamp, if you've made all those why, all those should decisions, and you finally get to the point where you're like, all right, I'm just gonna try this bootcamp thing, I would highly, highly recommend App Academy because I think what they provide is really nice. So. If you like the video, just please give me a like. Please ask me any questions. Please give me a thumbs up. If you want to spend three seconds and get potential access to free content, just sign up for the App Academy content below. They're just gonna give two of them away. So just sign up, it doesn't hurt. And hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch everyone next time. All right, 